Today's video is brought to you by Moose Master. Moose Master is a party game that's easy to learn, great for almost all ages, and a blast to play. Check out the hundreds of great reviews on Amazon and use the code 20 winmadden at checkout to save 20% today. Link is in the description. All right, guys, today we're going to talk defense, and we're going to give you an A-gap blitz that's going to have the easiest setup that you're going to find in Madden 22. Now, I will say right now, if you're on current gen and you're looking for a current gen tip, this is next gen only, but if you're on next gen, easiest setup you're going to get all year for getting A-gap pressure. So if you're new to the channel here, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos, and like always, let's jump into it. And this is the part of the video I like to remind you, if you want to take your game to the next level, head over to winmadden.com. We just dropped our fourth ebook of the year, and we do have a special going on. Again, early season sale. You can get a yearly premium membership for $49.99. That gets you access to everything on our website, all of our ebooks, all year round at a huge discount. Again, if you want to start winning and stop losing today, head over to winmadden.com. All right, here we are in practice mode, guys. Now, this is going to be out of... 245 odd. Now, definitely going to drop an ebook on this probably pretty soon, but it's becoming a very popular formation in the game. Again, I'm still kind of waiting for them to come out with a patch because I think it's going to change a lot of the way zones play and everything like that. But this is a very, very good pressure defense, and it's very good against Gun Bunch. Now, we're going to use a play out of here that is going to allow us to get A gap pressure, and that means right up the middle pretty much instantly. And that's going to really put our opponent in some type of quandary where they're always going to be half to blocking a tight end or a running back, making it significantly easier to guard Gun Bunch. So on offense, we're going to be starting, like I said, in Gun Bunch. So let's go to Gun Bunch and we're going to pick a play that's sending out five receivers. Now, again, this blitz works against somebody sending out five. It will not come in against a blocked running back or a blocked tight end. So just uh, for your information there, but this is going to force them to block a running back or a tight end to make sure that this doesn't come in. Now, the other important thing is you need to have auto flip off for this blitz. So we're going to come out nickel 245. We're going to flip. So again, here's it flipped. And then we're going to go to the play LB cross three show two. So linebacker cross three show two. So cover three, it's going to look like a cover two. It really disguises the defense really, really nice. Now, there are two different setups that we're gonna do. The first one is the easiest A gap every single time. Now, all we're gonna do to set this up is we're gonna baseline. That's it, we're set up. The blitz is ready to go. It's gonna fly in through the A gap with our linebacker and I'll just show you what it does here quickly. We snap the ball and you can see pressure right up the A gap, easy, easy A gap heat. Now let's take a look at this in instant replay and why this happens. Setup number two though is gonna just change things just slightly. But again, here's the snap. Again, you can see A gap pressure and we've got everybody covered. Again, our user's responsibility is gonna be the middle of the field. So that's gonna be this guy that we're gonna to have to go guard with the user. Here's our user right here. And then everything else, you know, pretty covered. We could put hard flats out there. We can have curl flats out there. We can do whatever we want on the defensive coverage behind it. Uh, but just know, again, this is only gonna work when they send out five people. But here is kind of the other thing. What can happen with this blitz every once in a while, even if you base a line, uh, it can get nano detected. So if you don't know what I mean by nano detected, it essentially means even if you run the blitz and you know we get our linebacker coming in free, he can just get nano detected by the computer and he'll essentially just stop right here mid rush and not rush the quarterback. So how do we prevent that from happening? I probably just screwed up the blitz by actually moving him. So let's just move him there. Let's see if this actually works. But how do we get that to, let's just respot the ball actually, just to make sure that this still works. Uh, how do we get that to not happen? How do we prevent the nano detection? Well, the secret sauce to that is, again, we're going to do the same setup. We're just gonna baseline. But nano detection this year, as long as you're rushing six people, you're never gonna get nano detected. So right now we have five people rushing. All we need to do is just blitz our user. We're not gonna get nano detected at all anymore. We're gonna come in free every time as long as they're sending out five people. So let's just snap the ball, show you that he does not get nano detected. We've got everything over the middle covered and we get the easy, simple sack. It's gonna force them to block a running back or block a tight end out of gun bunch. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick defensive play, easy A gap pressure, really gonna frustrate your opponent. 
Gonna make sure that they're blocking a running back or a tight end every single time. And if you're new to the channel here, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. Like always, till next time, win Madden.